Excellent performance from Harriers and, and at the end a deserved victory one would say. I think so yeah, I think first half um, in particular very cagey, um, but two well organised sides, um, no one re really wanted to give a, give anything away um, and I think we said at half time look a professional away performance for the first half however we've got to try and turn the screw if we want to win the game and I thought second half I thought, I thought the effort was there for a minute one to, to go on and win the game, I thought we had a number of chances, a couple offset pieces in particular. Um, Defended superbly throughout, I'll be honest. Um, and yeah, like I say, when you keep going to the end and you, you make changes, you bring subs off the bench, um, you hope they have a positive impact. And I think they've all been in, involved in, in, the, in the goal in the end, which is, is great for the group. There was a talking point three minutes into the second half. Sam Austin allowed to go on by the referee. He scores and the, the goal's chalked off for a for Arias free kick. <laughs> yeah, str strange one, to say the least. Um, obviously, we've come away winning the game now, so. You can half smile about it, but at the time we're absolutely fuming. Um, don't understand the decision at all. Um, but it's happened now, hasn't it? It's happened. So fortunate for for us, um, we've gone on and got the points. As you say, you you want the substitutes to, to make a, an impact. Fremantle, White, and the goal scorer Dinanga. Well, you couldn't ask for any more than that, could you? Really? No, not at all. Um, all three of them are really lively when they come on. Um, thrown on tough, tough circumstances when you're in the heat of the battle and both teams are fully at it up to pace um, and I think that's credit to them for having the professionalism to, to be watching the game, taking it in and then come in and, and, and settle straight in is, is great for us um, but we've got a strong squad, um, we haven't got the biggest squad in the world but what we have is we've got a bunch of players at the minute who are, they're all hungry, they're all pushing each other um, they're all desperate to get in the starting eleven, and when they do get a chance to impress they're all, they're all doing their utmost to do it And you look ahead to Tuesday night, another game thick and fast, local derby, Hereford yeah, straight away, recovery. That's all we've got to do. Um, boring as anything, I'll say it again, but it's what good teams are made of. So we finished today, we've, we've, we've celebrated it, but straight away now it's about Tuesday and, and can we back that up? Because um, when you win a game, it's only, uh, it's only worth three points, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so yeah, like you say, it's on to Tuesday night and then it'll be straight after that. We'll, we'll, we'll hopefully get a good result there if we can, um, try and put a good performance on and then it's just about taking each game as it comes, um, recovering in between and seeing where we are and hopefully picking the right team, hopefully making the right changes. Um, we've all got our roles to play in it. Um, but the first and foremost, you, you, you look after what you can look after first and the first thing is Recover properly from this, fuel up, um, rest up and then see where we are tomorrow Monday morning.